All right, we have new details tonight about the woman convicted of helping her husband hide body parts. We learned today Kimberly Moretz will spend 10 years behind bars. A judge handed down that sentence earlier today. It's a result both the state and the victim's family are happy with. WJCL's Nick Notario was in the courtroom today and joins us now with the, with the details. Nick? Unlike the trial, which I took part in, which lasted for days, today's sentencing only took a few minutes, and Moretz learned her sentence. Clutching a tissue, Kimberly Moretz gave a quick smile to her attorney as she entered a Springfield courtroom this morning. The Rankin woman was convicted last week for helping her husband cover up the murder of Charlie Ray around New Year's Day 2013. She faced 15 years behind bars, but the judge sentenced her to 10 years in prison with five years probation. Do you understand the sentence of the court? It's a punishment Ray's family was okay with. And we're pleased with that. During the trial, Moretz never took the stand in her own defense. And during the sentencing, when the judge asked if she'd like to say anything, she declined. Instead, before the judge handed down his sentence, Moretz's attorney did the talking and told the judge she didn't deserve to go to prison because the only crime she committed was marrying an abusive husband who stabbed Ray 55 times before chopping up his body. Dripping in blood, smiling, wanting to know why she is reacting the way she is and then threatens to kill her and everyone else that she knows if she says anything. But prosecutors gave their plea to the judge, arguing Moretz deserved time because in the days following the murder, she didn't tell anyone what happened and helped hide pieces of Ray in a South Carolina storage unit. Your Honor, we've seen little remorse from Ms. Moretz throughout this trial. Moretz wasn't the only one silent. Ray's father also decided not to talk during the sentencing. Would you want to say anything yeah. to, to Kim right now? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know, I, I learned a long time ago, if, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. Ray says no words were needed because he got to watch Moretz taken away in handcuffs. That's the reason I came up in this weather. I, I was bound and determined to see, see it to the end. Moretz was found guilty on concealing the death of another and hindering the apprehension of a criminal. She was found not guilty, though with tampering with evidence. Her husband, of course, Chad, accused of this crime, won't ever stand trial because he was killed in the days after the actual murder in a standoff with police. Yeah. All right, thanks, Nick. Thank mm -hmm. you.